Uh, my name's Helen, this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, today, <laughs> I don't want to big this up too much because I'm sure oh, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, I, it looks nice, doesn't it? But anyway, this is from Next. It's quite, it's cotton. I thought it was quite fun. wee -ha! Um. I am today going to try on the um, three formal night outfits that I've got for the cruise with the shapewear that Robissimo has kindly gifted me, but I'm not sure it's going to work. So honestly, when you look at this, this is extra large, double extra large. I mean, it looks tiny, doesn't it? I mean. I just don't I just don't think that's gonna go round me. I I I don't know. I'll try anyway, I'll try and put it on. I'm not sure my thumbs are strong enough. So this is called by bra, which if you saw my previous um shapewear video, uh I'd much prefer the wear your own bra ones, but this looks tiny tiny. But you know, you'd be surprised sometimes. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's got this kind of grip around the hem to stop it riding up. That only looks like it go around one of my legs anyway. And um, and then I've got these pants, which look even smaller because, you know, I'm wearing having bare legs, so you've got to kind of cover off the chub, chub rob thing as well. I mean, such a such a glamorous exterior. At such a unglamorous, unglamorous interior, but lucky Rob doesn't really take much notice. So, and um, the reason I don't go for the um, legging one in this is because of the um, toilet access. Let's put it that way. Um, so I would wear my chub rub shorts under this. So even more glamorous. I mean, all on the outside. It's like a duck, isn't it? It's all swimming along beautifully on the top and underneath everything's going, Ooh, and that's kind of like this. Everything's going, Ooh. but I'll try them and see. Very kindly gifted to me. And um, so I'm not going to look a, what's it? Blind horse. But what is that? I'm not going to look. I've I've gone completely blank. Something about looking a blind horse in the face. So anyway, forget all that. Good lord, I'm losing it. So I'm gonna pop this on under the first dress, and when I've got the dress on, I will show you um the jewellery that I think I'll pair with it. And you get the first glimpse at my own range at Meneers which is manir.co.uk. I went to school with his wife, Corinne, and um, it was a shame because when I had the photo shoot, I did do a little tiny snip of interview with him and my phone played up so it didn't come out, but I got a nice photograph of him. And what I would say, ladies, is that Manir is one of the kindest, most gentle men I've ever met. And... He used to be a hairdresser and a makeup artist, and now he designs jewellery, and he knows what suits you. You know, before now, I've rung up and said, oh, could I have such and such? And he said, that won't work for you, Helen. And on the couple of occasions when we haven't had that conversation, and I've just ordered something blind, he said, no, it hasn't worked for me at all. He knows what suits ladies. He's got a real good eye for that. And a real kind of... Um, empathy for women which makes him so good at what he does so anyway um i will try and get the shapewear on if i can't i'll just do it without the shapewear so the first thing i'll try is this dress so wish me luck wish my thumbs luck trying to pull it on and if i can't and you hear a crash i'll turn the camera off um your know it didn't work so um just watch that space Hooray! I got the shapewear on. 
it was touch and go there but um I pulled it on because I've always found it's much easier to pull up than to pull down and um it's on it's tight it's probably okay actually because it will it will give and it does what I need it to do is just smooth out the tummy so this dress is um it looks quite silver on the camera and i know you can see a little bit of my bra but i wouldn't wear, wear this bra with it um it's gold and on the cunard ships one of the nights is um a red and gold night and i don't really wear red so i just thought i'd go with the gold so i'll show you the dress first now this dress was 28 pounds in the next sale reduced from i think 70. so it's a lot of dress for 28 pounds I've got it on with the naturalizer shoes that were also from next in the sale and um it's just above my ankles it's got this split here it's not overly split you know so you can't see any of the gubbins that's going on beneath it and uh, i i think it's just a really it's a really lovely dress isn't it it's um you know makes you feel quite special wearing a dress like this and I mean I know you know I've still got a tummy but that's not you know without surgery that's going nowhere but it just kind of um sort of skims over the top in the camera I know you can kind of see lumps and bumps but I think in real life it's not so much because I've got all the lights on I've got the ring light and everything so then it's the jewelry so I've got quite a selection here and um my natural instinct before I put it on would have been to go gold but because it's 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 a very pale gold so I think silver might look better um so I'm just looking and I do love a big hoop so I'm just going to try these on first and um I will link them in the description box and um it's really cute actually because not the earrings obviously but all the chains and things are going to have a little tag on them with hmj for the um helen mary joe collection and they will be a separate page on the um website so do you know what i need to do is get a mirror that i can see into here because So I'm not sure that I need a necklace with this because obviously there's a lot going on with the dress. But um, I think because there's so much going on with the dress that possibly just a simple silver hoop is enough. Um, I've got them in gold as well. Um, I shouldn't show them in the package, should I? But um, this was just for transportation purposes because I didn't want to bring her home a pile of boxes I'll pop a gold one on and we can see be like that old um sketch you know the comedians used to do where they dressed one way one side and one way the other side it's hard with all these bright lights to see um oh actually I think I prefer the gold gold look kind of richer don't they kind of warmer let's try the gold I think that looks nice I'm going to pop a chain on because um oh do you know what I might pop on is this crystal um i wonder what this will look like see this very very delicate chain with this beautiful crystal and like i say um this one has got Meniere's tag on it but yours will have the hmj tag how exciting i've got to try and do this up myself where we could we put the other kind of um fastings on Oh, that was easy. Well, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? I can't, I, as I say, I haven't got a mirror handy, but um, I'll go over to the mirror in the hall. 
I mean, I've got other earrings. I, I do love those hoops. Um, I've got pearl earrings here, or I've got these other gold earrings. I'll try these, like, neater gold earrings. But I think, actually, with this kind of being the focus, I might might be better with um, a short earring or, you know, a stud. Or just I've got some... I've got some like diamond earrings. I could just wear those. So these are very cute, quite modern, modern looking. I think the hoops would be better without the necklace. Yeah, it's quite weird, isn't it, with this dress? Because it is gold. I mean, it is sold as gold, but... When you put gold on with it, it doesn't look very gold. Am I talking nonsense? Anyway, let's see. The solid nature of these earrings is too much with this dress because it's almost, I, I, when I say ethereal, that sounds a little bit kind of pretentious, but it's it's very kind of light, if you know what I mean. It's not like it's... A solid color um, and I'm just wondering now whether I should try I'll, I'll take this off and I wouldn't have thought that this would work but I'm going to try it I'm just going to try um, these pearl earrings and I would not have gone pearl with this dress but given that the metals aren't working very well these lovely shell pearls that i think they call them baroque pearls but um the website will be clear um when you go on there maybe the contrast is better I'm, i know you can see my bra sorry about that but there's a limit to how many times i can change in one day just lazy really how are they? They look better in the camera. What do you think? I mean, if my hair's down, you just sort of see them through the hair. They're lovely, aren't they? I love that shape of pearl. Um, yeah, so I think they're the winner for me. I mean, I have got, I've got this little bracelet that's along the same lines. So I could put that on. I'm not. I'm not able to do that on my right hand on my own, and um, I've already got this on my left. What I did want to show you, you know, I lost my heart. <laughs> not my heart. My heart. Um, I didn't lose it. Fell off, and I've got to get that repaired. So I've still got the little dangly do that um, that the heart was attached to. But um, what Manir has done, he has made this little bracelet with a heart that is exactly the same shape, actually, as um, the heart that I'm waiting to get repaired. So, that's the um, little bracelet, which matches, a few of you have seen this already, my necklace that I've been wearing a lot. They call it a paper clip, and it's got that clasp on it. And then I have got, um, uh, well, I'll show you those in a second, actually, because otherwise I'm just going to get in a muddle. So that's, oh, <laughs> this seems to be getting lower all the time, but I'll just wear a normal bra with it and it'll be fine. But it's a lovely dress, don't you think, for £28? I'm thrilled. So... I know that's taken a long time. So that's dress number one. I've only got two other things to show you, so it's not going to take forever. Don't panic. I've obviously got the earrings on from the last dress. So this is outfit number two. For you, those of you that have followed me, you know that I got this jacket in the um, next clearance. As did, I got the skirt too, but you haven't seen the skirt before. And uh, I've just got a little black vest top underneath it. I have got a black silk um, camisole coming from the silk company that I've worked with before and that hasn't arrived yet so this is the fringe jacket and then <laughs> don't laugh it's all the fringing 
I got this um, black sequin skirt that's got the fringing too, um, which is rather nice. I'm just looking there. I think I think I might have it on. The, I think that I've got the, the um, zip at the sides. I think the zip goes at the back. Oh God, all my sequins are getting caught up on each other. Hang on. Um, oh dear. Yeah, the seam, that seam should be around the side. Silly me. So you can see the fringe and it's cute, isn't it? Um, all the fringing. I, I, I rather like it, actually. I think it's fun. And, you know, like, this is just fun, isn't it? What, you know, I'm not pretending it's kind of haute couture. I'm not that person. It's just fun. So what can we put on here? Did I? Oh, gosh, I'm getting bumped up. So on Cunard, there is also a black and white night. So I thought this would be good for the black and white night. Um, because the silver is white, really, isn't it? And, you know, I know you don't have to you don't have to go with the theme at all. I know that. but. Um, it's quite fun to do that, isn't it? So, um, what would I try? I do want these silver hoops, so I'm going to pop the silver hoops back on um, and see how they work. I mean, I'll, I'll be getting these anyway because I love them. I think there's something kind of edgy about silver hoops. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just like them. Yeah, I think they look sophisticated. I'll go and try over to the mirror, see what the mirror says for me. So that was easy, wasn't it? The silver, silver hoops. So I've got this lovely necklace. This isn't going to work with this jacket. But I will open the jacket and I'll show you this necklace because I do love it. Um, I should have got more organised before I started, but today's all been a bit of a frantic day. And this is what they call a lariat chain. And it's so delicate and beautiful. So I'll just undo this. Again, I know I've got my orange bra on, but... This is great as a layering piece. And this slides up and down, obviously gently. And it's got the two kind of solid silver ends. All the gold jewellery is um, sterling silver with um, gold plate. And um, the silver is obviously sterling silver. So you can wear it kind of up there or you can take it down. And um, as I say, it's quite the thing now to kind of wear multiple chains. And um, I haven't really got another silver chain that would go, oh yeah, but I've got this. This isn't, you know, I'm just trying to give you an idea of how you can layer these pieces up. Again, that's quite a kind of a, a young look. So this is a lovely dark pearl. I don't know what they're called. I, I've, I've got earrings in those pearls. I think they, they used to be Tahitian pearls. I don't know what they are now. And you can see that's, you know, that gives it a whole different look, doesn't it? I love it. I think, you know, with a plain top or a shirt or something, that looks uh, really cool. I know it's a funny expression, but I always think it looks like you know what you're about if you do stuff like this. But I, I love, I love, actually, I love those three pieces together. I think they look really nice. So um, that's outfit number two. And I think the silver, I mean, actually, you could have those underneath, couldn't you? And then, you know, if you came to be taking the jacket off, you could have those there because obviously without the jacket it takes a completely different look i mean it wouldn't be just a vest it would be a silk um 
camisole that I'd be wearing. So anyway, that's um, that's number two. Uh, there is actually four. I said three, didn't I? But anyway, I'll pop uh, the next one on and then um, I'll see if I've got time to do the fourth one. Well, this is probably my favourite because I just love this jacket, my cabaret jacket, as I call it, and as you call it now as well. And uh, this has most definitely got the gold in it. So I'm going to go back. Shall I go gold or shall I go pearl? Because it has got this. Um, I'm going to go. This is what I'm going to show you, actually. Um, this. I haven't got the prices yet, which is why I'm not um, able to tell you the prices right now. But these chains, what Muneer's done, he's he's put these little um, kind of accents on there. There's this one, there's the pearl, and then there is a crystal too. So you can buy the chain on its own, or you can buy the chain and a crystal, or you can buy the chain and the pearl. Or you, you know, you or you can just buy these to put on anything that you might already have, um, which I think is rather lovely. And um, I'm going to put um, I'm going to put the pearl on just just now, just for ease, and see how that works. It's nice to have one necklace that you can then, um, I put this on the wrong way around, so that's why I'm struggling. So that's quite good. And then, you know, the Lariat necklace that I just showed you, um, have I got that? Yeah. So I've got that in gold with um, pearls on it, which is rather lovely. Um, I mean, I don't get to keep all these, I'm just showing you, but. Without a doubt, I will buy some myself. Um, I mean, these you'd have to, you know. You know that jewellery thing I showed you that I got from um, Amazon the, the, to keep my earrings in? There, I got one in TK Maxx that's just plain drawers, which I keep my necklaces in now, which is where you would want to keep something like this because it's a box chain and it's just got the two pearls. that looks nice doesn't it because this this jacket is quite kind of cool I think quite edgy you know it's not kind of pretty smart um so I'm gonna put I don't want to put another pearl on my ears you know like I think there's enough pearls there so let's try these I think they work quite nicely. Yeah, I think the um, the big pearl, the baroque pearl, going down to these two little seed pearls, so dainty, and then the plain gold earrings. Yeah. What do we think, ladies? I'm liking it. I think that's the best necklace for this ensemble. And then I have got, where's, oh, I must show you this necklace because um, I'll show, I'll, I will be pairing up jewellery with the other outfits, my other kind of evening outfits. Um, but this is my absolute favourite necklace. And I think it's the most expensive piece in the collection. Look how beautiful this is. It's so classy. I think over a shirt, you would look a million dollars. Well, to be fair, it looks pretty good with this outfit, doesn't it? I love it. I I just absolutely love it. I think 
I can't remember what these are. Oh gosh, they're going to kill me. I should have made notes. But they're all the different shell pearls, the paper, clip chain, and then these stones. Sorry, Manir, but um, I, I think, you know, that over um, a black shirt or cream shirt, I mean, I just love it. So, yeah, this is definitely my favourite outfit. I'm not sure I'll wear these shoes. I might wear black shoes with it, but um, I can't bother to change. That's the honest truth. So, that's, um, what is there? There's, there's black and white night. There's red and gold, which are the Cunard colours. There is um, Roaring Twenties which I probably won't bother with. I mean, to be honest, with the fringing and that on that skirt, I could just stick, I have got like a white feather thing and I could just wear some pearls, but I think I'd rather look nice than dressed up, to be honest. I'm not a great one for fancy dress. Um, I think you either are or you're not. Um, so I will pop upstairs and get the, yeah, so gosh, sorry. So there's red and gold, um, black and white, Roaring Twenties and Harlequin. There's four gala nights because we're on a 16-night cruise. So I will pop upstairs and get the fourth outfit. And if you're not bored to tears, you can uh, see that one too. Sorry. So this is the um, final gala night dress. And uh, actually, I can't remember. I think I got this in the next sale. And I know I've still got my orange bra on. But Rob's due in at any second, and um, I just haven't got the time to um, put the right bra on. So I'll show you the dress first, and um, I've just about got it done up, I think. As I say, I won't be wearing an orange bra with it. I'll wear the strapless bra with it. But um, it's a beautiful pink dress, and uh, it, was, it was really good value. I think it was about £42 pounds or something. And uh, I just thought it was really pretty. You know, how often, ladies, do we get to dress up like this? And I know on the Cunard cruises, people really do dress up. So I thought, to hell with it. It's probably the last time I will get a chance to put something on like this. And it's really lightweight. It's like a really pretty rose pink covered in pink and silver sequins. And... Um, I think it's lovely. So what jewellery to wear with this? Now, that's a good question, isn't it? Um, I think it needs to be delicate. So I'm going to take this off and um, see. Now, I've still got those earrings on. I'm not sure they're right with it. Um, I mean, obviously, I've got my own earrings too. I'm not only wearing Meneer's things, although they will be the majority of what I wear. Um, I don't think I want a long necklace with this for obvious reasons. I don't don't think I probably want a necklace at all, to be honest. There's so much going on with this dress, isn't there? I'm not sure about this. It's funny how when you try something on, it's a little bit different to, I suppose nobody actually noticed at the time. I've got these other, where are the little... I've got these pearl earrings. Now, these might, might look awful. I don't know until I try them. But I love these, these long pearl drops. And they're just the hook fastening. Oh, Dolly's going to ask to go out now. Imagine if someone knocked on the door and, yeah, there she is. I just let Dolly out. I thought winter was nearly over, but it's come back to remind us. So, what do you think of those? I think they look quite nice. I'll just go up to the mirror. At the moment, I would say they were the nicest. I have just got, I've just got to pop this on. I'm not sure it'll work or not. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that's just a little seed pearl necklace. Sorry if I'm clunking the mic. Sorry. Move that. Move that. No, see, I mean, I don't think it works when the earrings nearly touch the necklace for sure. Um, 
probably probably would just go with earrings because in truth there's so much going on with this dress that I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. Um, don't want a long one, don't want that. So the only other way to go would be short one, I think they're too heavy. So oh oh mm, I'm not sure. Like I say, um, I think, you know, it's different when it's night time. I mean, I'm standing in here on a, on a freezing cold Monday. Or what, oh, I don't know what day it is. Um, it's a bit different to being, you know, having a glass of wine and getting ready and knowing that everybody else is going to be dressed up, isn't it? Now, I got that done up first time last time. But at least Rob will be with me. Doesn't help when you've got these, um, you know, the um, acrylic nails. Doesn't help with. Well, they're not like they're not fake nails. They are my own nails, but they've got the um, dipping powder on. So, I mean, I could go. I think you know you're a bit kind of gilding the lily aren't you I, th I think you know I think the dress is enough so I think certainly um the only other way to go would be I've got what else have I got I've got these other pearl earrings which are rather lovely um I don't think that you can go wrong with pearls I, I just love pearl earrings um I've got these I've actually got these myself upstairs, but this is part of the range because these are some, you've probably seen me wear these before. Um, so just a very neat double pearl. I think it's quite nice to have the balance of the sparkle on the dress with the kind of sophistication of the pearl earring. So I quite like that. Anyway, they are, I mean, honestly, you're probably, you're all asleep by now or turned off or whatever. But anyway, that's the four gala evening outfits for our Cunard cruise um, at the end or well, beginning of April. So I hope you like it. Too late now if you don't. This is what I've got. I'm not changing them. Um, sparkly Warkly. Probably the last time I'll ever get to wear a fairy dress. So I'll make the most of it. As I say, there's more jewellery to show you. And I will do that when I try on my kind of evening wear that's not for gala. So that would be the next collection that I do. I really hope you've enjoyed it and um, that you enjoy. I mean, I literally am choosing with you at my side. So thank you so much and I'll see you really soon. Bye.